Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joanna if you've never been here before and today I'm going to talk to you guys about what is in my carry-on bag. And my carry-on bag that I have been using as of late is the base mini convertible weekender bag. This is a bag that I invested in at the end of the year. I mentioned it in my holiday gift guide and it's just something that I've been using on my last couple of trips to round out the year. And I thought that I would share what I pack in my carry-on bag with you guys because I feel like whenever I'm packing, I always slightly add one or two different things, so I change it out and I thought it would be nice to share it all with you guys in case if you're packing for any trips or if you just wanted a better look at this bag because I know I've been seeing a lot of it on Instagram and I would be curious if I didn't have already bought it for myself. So yeah, let's just get into it. So before we get into what I have filled to this bag with, I thought that I would just give you a general overview of the bag. So it is the miniature size of the convertible weekender bag. It has three different straps with it. One of them is optional. So it has two regular arm straps to wear it almost like a purse. And then it has one shoulder crossbody strap, which is a little bit thinner um, than other crossbody straps, but it is detachable and you can use it if you like. Um, it has one pocket on the front for you to easily store your phone or flight paperwork in. I like to always put my luggage tags in there when they give you slips after you've checked in your bag. And then my favorite detail of this bag, honestly, is on this back side, there's a zipper here for you to slide your luggage, your rolling luggage handle through. So that way you can just stack the bag on top of your luggage. And of course, on the bottom is the detachable shoe pocket or shoe compartment, which is extra storage that has a mesh netting on top of it. We'll get into it later when there's a little less stuff in the bag, so it's a little bit easier for me to hold. So the bag comes with one large compartment up top, which has this nice zipper overhead, and then it kind of pops open into an envelope. It has a sort of metal framework inside of it that keeps the bag structured and also makes it a little bit nicer to open up. So I'm gonna put the bag down on the table in front of me so that way I can slowly pull items out of here without also having to do heavy lifting. All right, so now let's get into what is in this bag. And it's kind of like the Mary Poppins of luggages. I have tons of stuff in here, so we're just gonna get into it. The first thing that I have coming out of this bag is my fanny pack. So if you guys haven't seen my what's in my travel fanny pack video, I will link that right here and in the description box down below for you to go and find out exactly what I pack in my fanny pack. During flights, I like to wear a fanny pack on me when I'm in the seat because I'm not someone who wants to constantly be reaching into the overhead compartment or storing things under my seat, but I also like things like handy wipes and hand sanitizer and chewing gum inside and easily found within my seat space when I'm on a plane. So I keep this packed and I keep it in my bag for when I'm going through security and then I'll put it on afterwards when I'm nearing the gate. The next item that I have in here, which is another kind of bag inside the bag, because that's just how I like to stay organized, is my bag of electronics that I'm going to be accessing during the flight. So just like my fanny pack, I keep this bag um, in the seat with me and it ends up being empty by the time that I'm sitting down, but it's just easier to have all of the items that I want while I'm sitting down that I might want to put away at some point in this bag so that way I don't have like five loose items and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I just have one item that has a bunch of items inside of it. So like I said, I'll keep this in my little seat area with me during the flight. And what I have in this bag, which by the way, is an MZ Wallace. I think it's technically like a laptop sleeve, but I use it for this. Um, the first thing I have in there is my iPad. So on the last flight that I took, I actually only watched movies and television shows on my app, on my iPad during my flight. And the reason for that is because, like I said, I took six trips this year and I tend to fly the same airline each time. So I've watched almost every movie that interests me on the in-flight entertainment system. And I realized that on one trip specifically that there was nothing I wanted to watch. 
And luckily I had my iPad with me and I had media downloaded to it so I could watch it in flight for free. And it was just a real lifesaver. Um, it's also really helpful because sometimes I'll have books that I'm reading and I have them downloaded to my iPad. So it's just nice to have this in my seat with me and it's pretty light and slim. And I don't pack a laptop normally when I travel so my iPad acts as my only computer source. So I like to keep it with me. The next thing that I have in this little pouch is my pair of noise canceling headphones. So this year I just was gifted by my parents, not by the company, the new Bose wireless headphones. I needed a new pair of wireless noise canceling headphones because I'm super sensitive to noise. These are beautiful and um, I carry them in their case because one, I don't want to damage them, but also for flights, it's important to have the cords that you use to connect to them in case if you are going to be using the in-flight entertainment, it has the aux cord so you can plug it in to the system that the airlines use. So the only other thing that I carry around in this bag is a loose set of headphones or an extra pair of just cheaper Apple headphones. And the reason why I carry these is because I tend to travel with other people who for some reason always forget to pack headphones. And on certain flights, especially shorter flights, or depending on what seat you're seated in in the cabin of the airplane, you have to pay for headphones. So I do my traveling companions a favor and I bring one of those, one with the aux head attachment, the aux plug attachment, not like a USB connected attachment or anything like that. So that way they can watch their in-flight entertainment as well. So that is everything that I keep on me and in my seat when I'm flying. The rest of the stuff stays packed in the carry-on bag for the duration of the flight. So one thing that I always pack in my carry-on bag are any kind of valuable items that I wouldn't trust storing away in any kind of checked bag, whether it's gate checked or security checked. So in for the most recent flight that I actually packed this bag for, I have my smaller digital camera. This is the camera that I bring for trips where I'm not necessarily taking as much intense photography or I just don't have the room to carry around a big DSLR. So this is my Sony Alpha 5, uh, 5000 camera that I've had for a number of years. It has a selfie screen that I love and it's just a really great camera. So. Since I just went to Disney, I brought this one because it's easier to walk around the parks with that kind of camera than a really big one. When I'm carrying my DSLR camera, I will also be packing extra lenses in here and things like that, extra SD cards. But because I'm just bringing my smaller camera, I don't have all that extra equipment in my carry-on bag. The next thing that I have packed are two pairs of sunglasses. Since I was going to Florida, I did bring two different pairs of sunglasses. So I brought my pair of Ray-Bans and then I also brought another pair of Ray-Bans which are actually in my regular daily glasses case because I've packed both a pair of sunglasses and my regular everyday glasses in this case. So I like to pack my regular glasses, my prescription glasses, on the plane as well because a lot of times I don't actually wear contacts when I'm flying so I do need to switch out to my glasses um, but because this was a shorter flight I just packed the glasses instead of wore them. Because I was going to Disney World I needed to have my magic band on me so this is also floating around in this bag. It's a real video of what I've actually packed so I do have some random site specific items in here. I also like to carry some sort of backup charger or portable charger. This isn't the one that I normally carry with me, but it was one that I happened to have on hand. Um, I tend to bring a slightly more powerful one, but for right now I have this little guy. Um, just because I knew that at some point during my travels I would need the portable charger, I don't really use them when I'm flying because I just plug my phone into the outlets on the plane, but I do have that in my carry-on bag just so that way I knew where it was and it made more sense to pack it in my carry-on than in my checked bag. The next major item that I have in here is my carry-on makeup case. If you guys want to see what I carry in my makeup bag when I travel you can go ahead and watch that video here and again linked in the description box after you finish this video. Um, I don't travel with that much makeup so I do carry my makeup, my makeup brushes, and then extra like filler bags are in here just to um, utilize the space the most because this makeup bag is a little bit extra large. So I carry these two little bags in here which are filled with different things. Sometimes I'll fill it with technology. This time I filled it with 
some feminine products because it was that time of the month when I was gonna be traveling. So it just made sense for them to stay in my makeup bag. So now we have reached the bottom of the bag. There's nothing else in there as you guys can see. So inside of this bag, I all, there are a couple of other pockets. So there's a big pocket that is technically a laptop sleeve. And then on the other side, there's a zippered pocket plus a couple other little smaller pockets. So inside of the big open pocket, I carried a bunch of cords and phone chargers and other charging things. So this is just one cord that was actually for recharging the portable battery and for recharging my camera if I needed to charge it. Also in there are just other items from my wallet, which I'm not going to pull out because they might have my name or other sensitive information on there. And then just other little paperwork pieces, like I threw receipts during my travels into that little pocket. On the other side, inside of the bigger zippered pocket, I carried around travel documents. So since we were going to Disney World, I did bring all of the tickets stashed into that pocket. Um, so that way they would be easily accessible. I knew that I had them on the flight with me and not in my checked bag where someone could grab them. And I also kept a rain poncho because in Disney World, sometimes it could rain in the middle of the day. So I did pack a poncho and I kept it in here. And then in the other two smaller pockets, I kept a couple of other things. So let's start reaching into there. I packed my hair tie, a spare hair tie in there because sometimes I forget to pack a hair tie. So I always like to stash extra ones of these in random places. I have a peppermint because sometimes I get motion sickness and sucking on a peppermint can be very helpful. Uh, I also have in here two little Tabasco shots, which I actually acquired during my trip and I just threw them in there. So now I'll always have them. I have a flushable moist wipe because you never know when you're gonna need one of these. And then some band-aids that I think fell out of the pocket next to it. So in the pocket next to it, I have some other things in here. The first thing is this little velvet pouch that I will carry jewelry in. Right now it's empty because I didn't actually pack any jewelry for this trip, but sometimes I do and I like to have it in my carry-on. Then I have this stack of little things, which are some band-aids, some blister band-aids, which are different than regular band-aids and very important. And one of the most important things to have in your carry-on, in my opinion, is a nail file because I actually broke my one of my nails during the flight. So I ended up pulling this out and then I ended up having like a little snag on my nail during the other part of the flight. So again, I needed the nail file and it's just always good to pack a nail file in general, but having it on the flight to me is also important because you're doing a lot of heavy lifting when you're going through the airport and you never know when someone, even if it's not you, might break a nail. Um, and I just find broken nails to be really aggravating and annoying. So if I could use a nail file during the flight, I will. I won't like aggressively do my nails during the flight though. That's kind of gross. I almost forgot to say that on the outside of the bag, I also have strapped onto it my travel pillow. So I recently talked about this pillow in my holiday gift guide video, as well as when I mentioned this carry on bag, it's the Cabio E3 Evolution travel pillow that wraps up like a cinnamon roll as they describe it and it looks like this and so i do wrap it up before and after my flights i put it in its little carrying case so from there i just strap it onto one of the handles and it's always attached to my back so i like this pillow specifically and its carrying case because one it just makes it easier to carry around on my bag i don't have to worry about fitting it into the actual luggage and it also just makes it easy to always know where it is and it doesn't get dirty because it's wrapped in a carrying case, I have my eyes on it, and I know it's not gonna fall on the floor. Okay, so that is the whole top part of the bag. I have fit a lot in there. Sometimes I fit a little bit more depending on how long the trip is, whether or not I wanna pack a spare thing of clothes, etc., etc. You guys get the drift. So what's great about this bag is that it also has the shoe compartment on the bottom it has one large zipper and you just detach the whole bottom. So if I can do this without looking at it. So this is the whole top part of the bag. So it's not too bad on its own. The bag was very heavy because I have some shoes in it with me. So this is what the shoe 
compartment looks like on its own and it has a mesh cover so that way the shoes aren't falling out. It is secured by another zipper on top of it. So you guys might have noticed already through the mesh that I actually wrap up my shoes in old shopping bags. These are free people cloth bags that are machine washable. So whenever I'm packing up shoes for my flight, whether I'm using this carry on or whether I'm packing my shoes in my stowaway luggage, I always wrap them up in little cloth bags because I don't want the dirt from the shoes to transfer onto everything else. And even in this carry-on where it has a separate shoe compartment, I just don't want the compartment to get dirty and gross. So wrapping up the shoes makes a lot more sense. So for this trip, I packed two pairs of shoes in this carry-on. One was a sneaker and one was this sandal. So this is what the shoe compartment looks like empty now that I've taken all the shoes out of it and I'm going to reattach the entire bag. Okay, so this is my now empty carry-on bag. Again, it's the base convertible uh, mini weekender bag. They have a larger version of it, but for me, I tend to travel with the middle range like a 24 inch luggage which is technically the largest size carry-on that i can get on most flights even though i don't tend to bring my luggages onto the plane with me i tend to gate check them this is the bag that would fit most perfectly on top of it so it has the same width as my actual rolly luggage i didn't want to get the bigger size because the bag would have been bigger and wider than my rolly luggage so this is that bag. I really love it. I think that it has the right amount of storage everywhere. My only, only, only complaint about this bag is that since I do tend to check my bags, there will be some time in the airport where I have to physically carry this bag around because my luggage is no longer with me. During that time, my carry-on is very heavy. So there might come a time in 2020 when I actually swap this out for a backpack because backpacks are generally just easier to carry more weight for me. My back is stronger than any single shoulder on my body. And yeah, so, but for right now, I do really love this bag. I do really enjoy having it on planes with me. And I think that it's the perfect flight for actually using as a weekender bag. So like if I were going on a very short trip to like a cabin somewhere, I could see myself fitting all of my clothes, toiletries, everything in here. But for right now, it's my great airplane carry-on bag and I do really, really love it. Um, it's just so chic and so easy to use and it has the perfect amount of space and pockets and organization for me. I love the shoe compartment. It's just a really great bag that I do recommend. And I know that I have been doing a couple of different videos on base products, but obviously they're products that I pick out for myself. I looked at all of the different bags made for traveling with all the different attachments and compartments by every single brand under the sun and this was the one that I thought was at the right price point and that was made out of fabrics that I thought would hold up the best and be the most structured and all that jazz. So with that being said, I do totally recommend this product. I hope that you guys found this video informative and fun and maybe a little bit useful or inspiring for your next trip, what you want to pack. And yeah, as always, leave your comments in the comment section down below. I love to read them and let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me next. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And if you guys want to see more of my content, you can go ahead and click on one of those videos here or click on my floating face to subscribe.